Hey, hey, my lovely people, how you all doing? I hope you're doing fine. Guys, I am so fine, like, yes, like you're seeing, very fine. So, guys, I'm in the kitchen again, and once more, I have, I'm cooking something very traditional, very local. This is dried eggplants. Have you ever seen anyone cooking dried eggplants? No, you have never. I'm pretty, pretty sure about that, and that's the reason I chose to share it with you guys. So, it's actually our dinner today, and yes, I decided to share this with you. So, how about we cook this together, guys? Mm? Yes. Ah, but before we go far, are you subscribed yet? I mean, if you're not, please go ahead already and subscribe, okay? Please make sure you join the channel, and yes, I have something so interesting, but woo, <laughs> you don't want to miss it already. Please, let's cook, let's cook. So, guys, this is potatoes. This is sweet potatoes, I mean. This sauce, I like it so much with sweet potatoes. It's very, very delicious. And yes, like I told you that pe peanut butter is like our, I don't know, master spread. Eh? You get <laughs> We cook everything in peanut butter, guys. And yes, that is the same reason I'm going to cook this again in the peanut butter right here, as you can see. So yes, that is going to be part of the sauce, guys. And right here is, um, it's called what, silver fish? Small fish, I don't know how they call it. I think the English name is silver fish. Please let me know how, how you guys call this in English or in your language. Or if I told you guys even eat this because maybe some people don't even eat it. But yes, for us it makes a very delicious soup, guys, and that's the reason we are going to have this today. So I'm already peeling the sweet potatoes so that I put it on fire and I start straight on that one today, guys. Just got done peeling, and yes, I'm going to wash it. Big way, guys. Do you remember how this saucepan was made? Remember, I made it. Now I'm going to use it for cooking. <laughs> That's how interesting it is. And please, if you did not watch that video, please, after watching this very one, make sure you go back and look for a video where I was making this very saucepan that I'm using for cooking, guys. Because I made it myself. I'm so proud of myself. I literally can do it. Like, if you don't believe it, go back and watch it. is our dog. You can see the way it's passing around in front of the camera. <laughs> uh, its name is Simba, if you didn't know. And yes, did you watch that video when I was serving this cake? If you did not, please go back and look for a video where I was celebrating my birthday and I served our dog here cake. Please go back and watch that one in case you missed it. So right here is the sweet potatoes and I'm just going to add in some water. So I decided to use two charcoal stoves because I'm getting late. I started cooking today late and it's almost time for dinner guys. So I'm going to use this one for the food and this for the sauce. And then let's work on this one. So guys, this right here, personally I prefer to eat it. I mean to cook it when I've removed the head and that is the reason why you see me removing the head like this. So I remove the head off, you just break it off like that. Simple as that. But there are people who cook it together with the head as well. Please let me know if you guys eat this kind of fish and how you guys call it as well. Otherwise for us we call it like cherry. And we enjoy it so much. And now I'm going to wash it. So the thing is you have to wash it with warm water preferably. Because there is a way this thing always has some soil particles. I think when they are drying it, the it gets mixed up in soil. And that's the reason I choose to to use warm water so this is hot you can't even see that steam but i guess it's too hot so let me add in some cold water just to bring it to a good temperature so you have to be very careful while washing it otherwise your your sauce is going to have some stones some soil particles And for that same reason, I always choose to wash it twice. Meanwhile, guys, this is a very nutritious food. And actually, uh, doctors recommend it for babies. In our land, eh, doctors, doctors always recommend this, especially the pounded. There is also a pounded sauce made out of this. People sometimes mix it in baby's porridge. It's really, really nutritious. Please, if you have access, try it out. It's very, very nutritious. Now, this is the second washing. This is the 
what I'm going to use for cooking. There it goes. Then I'm going to add in some salt. Let's leave this one to be boiling there. Meanwhile, the dried eggplant, I'm also going to put it in water a bit to soft just because there is a way it also has to. I don't know why most of our things are so incredible. So you have to be very keen while, while, while cooking, guys. So I'm going to leave this one in water for like some five minutes or so just for the soil also to soft, to sink down, to wash off the soil. Eh? Guys, this right here is not an ingredient or it's not even a spice it's part of the sauce it's soap you get yeah so let me leave it here to soak for like some few minutes as our sauce here starts boiling already so guys you can see the sauce is actually boiling and yes i'm going to add tomatoes already so in case you're wondering why I shifted, if you have noticed that is, I've shifted inside, it's raining. And that could be also a reason why you might not fit me very well. So please let me know in the comment section. Are you here? What I'm saying properly? Oh, the rain is too much. The noise is too much on the roof. Please let me know if you're here me well. Otherwise, I have no option. And I'm very sorry about that. So let's leave our sauce to boil and the tomatoes to get ready as well. Guys, our eggplants are, have soaked well now and it's clean, it's soil free, so I'm going to add it. Mrs. Mix, I don't want to add a lot of it. You know, this sauce does not need a lot of eggplants. The silver fish has to be more than your eggplants, so you have to balance it well. Otherwise, you'll make it a, somehow bit. I don't know if you also feel that. That is if you've ever eaten this sauce, guys. Let me know. How you like your eggplants mix? Is it much or little or what? Personally, I love it little, just to give it some taste. Perfect. So that will actually do. Oh, and yes, our potatoes are also there, getting ready. Sweet potatoes. So guys, let's wait for this sauce to get ready. I mean, oh, you're surely going to love what is going to follow after this. Just watch this to the end. And here we are, guys. Our sweet potatoes are ready. So let's carry it off. Oh, you want to see how red it is? Just have a look at this. See how it breaks off? That's an indication that it's actually ready. So let's leave it to cool a bit. As we press this one, this is also ready. You can see how it's looking, right? Looks really, really, really delicious, guys. And the tomatoes are very soft like really ready so let's carry this off and also test it now the way we press this one is a bit different not like if you can remember the pigeon peas you guys told me it's called pigeon peas if you can remember the way you press the pigeon peas is different from this this one here you start with the soup alone before you add in the real sauce so you first do the soup and peanut butter alone and mix it thoroughly until it's mixed properly and then we have this right here i told you the use of this one is for pasting guys this one we only use it for mingling and then this one here is for pasting specifically pasting only so let's use this one i also don't know its english name please let me know how it's called in english in the comment section so let's paste
it's easy to mix it well when the soup is not much that's why i choose to do it this way then we can add the soup later and the rest of the sauce And since it is uniformly mixed, you can notice. Now let's add back this sauce onto it. And then the magic is right here, guys. This right here is a bicarbonate. You can, if you please, if you didn't watch this video because we made this bicarbonate ourselves. If you didn't watch, please go back and watch how we made this here. It's our magic liquid, guys. It makes soup so tasty, especially this tasted kind. Oh, you don't want to know. So let's just do a drop. Something like that is going to do. So we add it. And then you can see how the, how it makes even the soup to change. It reacts really, really hard on soup, guys. But who makes it very tasty? So let's mix this through, and then we just leave it here for like a minute or two, and then we carry it off, guys. Then surely the most part, the, the part that I, that I like most, the eating. Ooh, can't wait for that. Remember, our potatoes are also there cooling, guys. Unfortunately, my chicken is there fighting me terribly. <laughs> Let's taste the salt. Mm, you don't want to. Please come and taste this already. Oh my goodness. Okay. And yes, our sauce is ready, guys. So let's carry it off. You can see how thick it looks and very delicious. And you know, I cannot wait to eat this. So I'm going to serve myself already. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, have you ever eaten this sauce before? Please let me know how you guys cook it. If at all you cook dried eggplants or even silver fish, please let me know how you guys cook it. Because for us, just like I showed you, and it's a real delicacy, guys. Have a look. Whew. It's hot, but I just cannot wait to eat it already. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> just burnt me. Thank you very much for watching guys Ooh, let me just wait for my sauce to cool before i can eat it otherwise i am so impatient because the aroma is just sweeping me off already guys i'm out <laughs>